Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. In this video, we will cover the adapter design pattern. This is a type of structural design pattern, and this is first structural design pattern we are discussing today. In this video, I'll explain what is adapter pattern, where to use adapter pattern in our project, and I'll show you an implementation of adapter pattern using Java language. At the end, we will also discuss the benefit of this pattern. Friends, we have already covered the basics of a structural design pattern in previous video. Can you explain what is the purpose of a structural design pattern? Please reply your answer in the comment section. If you have not seen that video, so please go and see that video. Link is provided in the description section. Just to summarize. A structural design pattern shows the relation between different entities. How objects and classes combine to form complex structure. Go check out the details in previous video. Okay, let's start with the adapter pattern. So, what is adapter pattern? Many times we come across a situation where two classes are incompatible. Because of their incompatible interfaces, so the adapter pattern comes with the solution to this problem. Adapter pattern is used to translate the interface of one class to another class. The classes which are unable to work together due to incompatible interfaces, now using adapter pattern, we can make those classes working together. So how adapter pattern solving this problem? How adapter pattern is solving incompatibility problem? Adapter class using the multiple inheritance by extending one class or implementing one or more classes to adapt one interface to another interface. In simple terms, it solves the problem either by using inheritance or by using object composition. We call it as a class adapter or object adapter. Using to streak. Adapter pattern making the programming easier. Using adapter pattern, we can make unrelated classes to work together in a single program. The concept of adapter is pretty simple. We write a class that has desired an interface and then make it communicate with with the class that has different interface. Okay, now let's see an implementation of adapter pattern. I have prepared a code snippet for adapter pattern. I'll show you a demo of both class adapter and object adapter. You don't worry, I have shared this project in my GitHub repository so you can download the code and play with it. The URL of my GitHub repository is given in the description section. Now let's see how adapter pattern is implemented in Java code. I'm using Java 8 with IntelliJ ID and after the code walkthrough, I'll run the demo and, <coughs> and show you the code. So here, if you can see, I have adapter package. In this package, I have defined this collection base class. It's an abstract class. And in this abstract class, I have abstract method add. The implementation of this class I have is class collection, which is extending that collection base and implementing that method add. In this add method, it is printing that added element to the list. In the same way, I have stack base abstract class having abstract method push. And I have implementation of that class stack where I'm extending that stack base and implementing that method push. Here, I'm printing push element in the stack. Now, what we are trying to show here is there are two different types of classes and these classes are incompatible. One is having add method and one is having push method. How these two different classes works together. Uh, these two classes come from different abstract class or in implementing different interfaces. So how these two classes will be become compatible. Now, I'll show you an example of class adapter 
first in class adapter this class adapter is extending class stack and we have defined this method which is which looks like very similar to our collection base but inside this method we are calling operation of stack so we have defined add method with method parameter string s and we are calling super method this dot push on that s so this is how class adapter works this is a beauty of class adapter where the signature of the method is looks like to a different interface and it is operating using the parent interface method signature now let's see an implementation of object adapter where object adapter class is extending a class collection and it is having that add method to add that element to to the list now here in this class we are defining an object of stack through composition object composition and inside this add method we are calling a push operation of that composite object so this is how object adapter works so this is a beauty of adapter pattern where we can use class adapter or object adapter as per our convenience wherever is applicable we can make two different types of classes coming from different interfaces and make them working together calling the method of each other to get the purpose right so where to use adapter pattern whenever you want to use classes but their interfaces are not matching whenever the classes are incompatible that time you can use adapter pattern to make them working together whenever you want to create a reusable class that cooperates with unrelated classes that time you can use adapter pattern whenever you want to make a pluggable kit or you want to build some libraries to be used by others that time you can use adapter pattern i'm sure you would have heard the name of these java libraries like window adapter component adapter container adapter focus adapter key adapter mouse adapter and then etc all these are implementation of adapter pattern to make incom incompatible classes working together so what is the benefit of adapter pattern obviously the major the biggest benefit of adapter pattern is that it makes two incompatible classes working together okay let me summarize the video for you we understood what is adapter pattern we saw the use cases of adapter pattern we also understood two types of adapter pattern that is class adapter and object adapter we also saw the code implementation of these two adapter patterns and at the end we also discussed the benefit of adapter pattern friend let me know if you have used any of this adapter class in your project or have a scenario where this pattern can be useful please reply in the comment section with your answer in the next video we'll cover the bridge design pattern we will learn what is bridge pattern we will see the usage of bridge pattern we will see an implementation of bridge design pattern and we'll also understand the benefit of bridge pattern so stay tuned for the next video and do not forget to subscribe this channel please like and share this video this is very useful information for the students beginners and software engineers please click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and subscribe to this channel for the more programming and technology related videos thank you